Hey everyone, back with another blog. So, wanted to give you an update on how things are going with the health journey. Um, making some big progress. Yesterday was a milestone again for me. This time, I was able to fit into my size 34 waist pants that I've been trying to get into. That was kind of the initial goal, the waist size I wanted to get into. So I buy these Dockers, the khakis, they're the classic fit. So they give they have a little room in them. So I'm probably not a true 34, but they fit. So I'm probably between a 36 and a 34, maybe a 35. Um, the the waist is custom to fit between like a 33 and a half and a 35 and a half. So I'm definitely uh, I've gotten to that, and I ordered three more pants, two more pants in addition to the one I got. So they're coming today. So I'm excited about that. Um, my weight is now down to 186.8 as of last week. Um, I'm feeling great. I got like another seven, 16, 17 pounds to go. Um, and then, you know, I'm really going to think about training for a half marathon and maintaining my weight. Um, I'm running more now. I have more energy, more so than even I had a month ago uh my sugars are coming down my after eating sugars are now getting into like the low hundreds and like i had a couple of 90s so that's like really normal like uh so take the bitter melon and the cinnamon and i take my chromium um and i'm going to continue to do that too i get my full panel done in october where i'll do all my blood work and then see where i'm at be interesting to see how my kidney functions are i wonder if they're even better than uh, they were, you know, prior to all this. Um, so doing my thing with the food, uh, I had a good conversation with a lot of people who asked me, what am I doing? And like, what kind of diet are you on? And I just, I just changed the way I was eating and I'm just maintaining that. Uh, but I still like go out and do things and I've, I learned how I've learned how to go out and have things and then get right back on what I was doing. So I think that's the main thing. You just got to, you know, you could have things, but then don't get comfortable eating those bad foods all the time. You know, I think if I can give anyone advice, I think processed foods and the sugar. I think those are like the two biggest things to stay away from. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm feeling good. Um, work ended Monday, uh, Friday. Uh, bittersweet because two of my great friends and colleagues that I've been working with are now moving on and uh, I'll be starting new next year. So uh, 21 years in the books. It's been um, it's been something. Uh, this year was a good year. You know, I had, it had its challenges, but um, I had a great class, great group of kids. I always have a great group of kids. I've been blessed that in that regard. Um, they had their challenges for sure, but um, they they grew a lot. And I think what was nice is as I was going on this journey, you know, it was like I was trying to model for them what it means to be responsible and accountable. And um, I think that's what keeps me motivated. Like even checking my weight on Tuesdays and checking my blood pressure and checking my sugars, like I don't have to do my blood pressure really anymore. But I think it's just a matter of just, I like having a consistency of doing something. It feels like part of the routine and it helps to keep me focused. So, um, yeah. So I've been reflecting on that and I just think going forward now that I have the summer, I'll, you know, I'm going to work, do some tutoring this summer and um, so I have my own schedule. So, the, the real push now is to get these last 17 pounds off and see where I'm at when I get down to 170. I mean, I'll definitely be, my pants will definitely fit comfortable then. I mean, they fit now, but they'll, they'll, they'll really fit well then. And then I'll start shopping for like suits and fitted clothes because fitted clothes obviously fit a little different, you know? Um, but overall, um, things are looking good. I feel good. You know, I have a lot of energy now. Um, and now I'm able to run more like today. I 
I, in an hour of time, I did four miles. And of the four miles, I ran about two and a half of them. And I was able to sustain it longer. So now my endurance is picked up and I'm able to do more. Yesterday, I did 10 miles walking. So I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. So um, having an energy level really helps. Um, so, you know, you just got to keep pushing forward. I'm actually right now in my car because I just dropped Stephanie off at Weight Watchers. And, you know, like I said, we're doing this together. So, you know, you got to support each other, you know, in our journey. So just wanted to give everybody an update. Um, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to do some more cooking stuff. Uh, we'll do some more talks. If you guys have any suggestions for videos or things you might want to talk about or hear, you know, hit me up. And I'm, like I said, I, I really want to start thinking about doing in the future is having like a health fitness club where we meet once a week, once a month and talk about different issues and talk about our, our struggles and our journeys. One thing I'll say, um, you know, like I, with this journey, I do have my struggles like the, you know, I'm still eating too late at night. I still catch myself like having a snack late at night. Um, I want to try to improve that. It's hard though. I, I I'm I'm will admit that it's hard. Um, when it comes to popcorn, popcorn is definitely like my new kryptonite now. Like, I, it doesn't mess me up sugar wise, but I'll eat more of that than I should. And sometimes I'll catch myself and say I'm mindlessly eating this. Like I went to Alamo. And the, the popcorn comes and it's like a big silver bowl and it's got, it's got, you know, I, had to, I get the butter on it and not too much butter, but just enough. Um, now, back in the day, I would have that. I would have had a burger. I would have had chocolate chip cookies afterwards so I don't, and soda. Now, what I'll do is I'll, I'll have wings that they have there. I'll have my popcorn. I'll have unsweet iced tea and I'll bring my own stevia. But what I do, if I know I'm going to do that, I'll eat very little during the day I mean I'll eat but I won't eat as much and then I'll work out like the before and then the next day to kind of burn it off so I, I've been doing that I, I I'll admit it's it's my it's my one thing that I've kind of like all right like this is something I really like I want to have so um so yeah that's I would say that's like the biggest thing that's a challenge, but you know, you're going to have times you're going to want stuff. I mean, one day I was craving Chinese food. I don't know why I was craving it. I just wanted Chinese food, but I didn't get it. And then it, it was wings and I was almost, I almost ordered wings out and I said, you know what? I'm just going to go to the store on my way out. I'm going to buy wings and air fry them. And I just did it. And it was my treat to myself and I had a salad with it. So I've learned, you got to learn how to trade off. And then, you know, my treat now is if I go to City Limits and they make this really good roasted chicken with all juice and it comes with potatoes and green beans. But what I do is I don't like green beans so much. So I get steamed broccoli. I have the all juice on the side and no potatoes and I'll have it with seltzer. And that's like a treat for me. And it's not the most, un it's actually not that unhealthy, but you know, you don't want to eat that all the time, but those are the things you do. You kind of trade off and make you know concessions where you can. But I don't want people to think that this has been easy. This has been a lifelong thing I've been struggling with. I think I've cracked the code. So now when I get to maintenance, that's going to be a whole nother set of videos. Like, how do you maintain it? But not there yet. Still on the weight loss journey. So I'll see you guys soon. And uh, like I said, hit me up in the comment section. All right. Peace.